This is the place. This is the place. This is the place. This is where I found the person that I was meant to become. It was more about the beautiful anthropology of all those really smart women. You look to the person to the right of you and you think, I, if she can do it, I could, I could do it too. I gained full confidence in my own abilities. The confidence that you could do it, to believe in yourself, to know that you're capable of leadership. That confidence came from my education at Wellesley. There's no question about that. I was more prepared to take on some of the uh, rough and tumble that you confront. This is where I found my voice. A voice that will ring in places. And for people who have no voice. You know, it's okay to ask for what you want. And having views, having opinions, being able to defend them. You should never let anyone intimidate you because of who they think you are. You have to just be who you are. This is where I found my intellect. How to be a critical thinker. You can do really rigorous intellectual work and be respected intellectually. There was nothing I couldn't learn. Anything is possible. This is where I found my mountain. And began my climb. Where my will to keep going will outgrow my fear of failure. It's okay to be afraid. Just fail and get up again. You don't become until you lose sight of the shore. Here's a safe space to try, and you'll be okay on the other end. Not everything is gonna succeed, and you don't let that set you back. And it was a liberating discovery. Be bold, be bold, be bold. The best lessons I learned through my Wellesley experience was to think big, was to be daring. Why not? You can do it. You've got to get out there, and you've got to give it your best shot. This is where I found my passion to undertake something so meaningful, so audacious, and take it past the point of no return. I came away with this idea of really fueling my passion. To just not hold on to my dreams, but to try them, to test them. It was something that made all the difference. This is where I found my mission, my obligation, my calling, to do something something positive, something remarkable, something good. The motto of Wellesley is non ministrare, sed ministrare. Not to be ministered unto, but to minister. Women who will make a difference in the world. I want to be governor of West Virginia. Be an educator at an urban school. A physician for low-income women. An advocate and a leader for the things that I believe in. Hopefully making the world a better place. This is where I found my resolve my strength, and my ability to throw rocks straight up to shatter every glass ceiling. Not just for myself, but for generations of women to come. We were very much a transitional generation. I heard over and over and over again, we don't hire women to do that. There was no language in those days to describe objectification or even alienation, but I did feel it. Dear Ellen, if your name were Alan, we would hire you. Wellesley equipped all of us, really, to be the generation of women to come out and be the people to break down the barriers. We were something that could not be stopped. We could lead. We could be those who made the difference. It was a, a great lesson that women could do many, many things. There's no limitation to what women can accomplish. Wellesley gave me the confidence that even if the door doesn't say welcome, I can walk through the door. Up overhead, ready, up, stay down. 
This is where I have found my sisters, my community. To be with smart women who not only thought that they could make a difference in the world, but they wanted to do with it their sisters to do it together. I often say I would not have been Secretary of State if it hadn't been for Hillary. Birds fly faster in formation than they do alone. There was a support system, a kind of institutional foundation for using your talents and, and trying hard things. And if you get knocked down, get back up. Really, I think my favorite tradition at Wellesley is step singing, which is ridiculous, because I can't sing a note. Being with my friends at step sing, which I just really loved. The afternoon tea was great fun. It was like a connection to the past. I hope they're still doing the beanies. Um, I thought that was very cute. I, I spent hours looking for the beanie. It was Marathon Monday. So maybe somebody has a leftover from 1964 that they can send me. <laughs> the sparkle on Lake Wabin, I mean, it's just an unbelievably beautiful place. Being awake early to row on that exquisite lake. It's a very emotional response. You really feel you're at home. Many people just feel a recentering whenever they go around that lake. Sometimes when I feel like lost or confused, I'll close my eyes and I do think about that. I just had this sense of endless possibility. I sort of put it in a bottle and have carried it with me. It's always stayed with me. This is where I found myself and where I found the person I was meant to become. Person I was meant to person become. Person I was meant to become. My name is Jennifer Liu. Mary Martha Corrine Morrison Claiborne Boggs Roberts. Halima Tu Hima Musa Diula. Alessandra Marie Saldivar Jufredi. Hillary Rodham Clinton. Lila Diane Sawyer. Mariam Humayun Eisler. Michelle Caruso Cabrera. Vivian Janet Hill. Jennifer Eplett Riley. Lulu Chow Wong. Rieta Vals Noyes. Robin Hamilton Spark Madeline Corbell Albright. Pamela. Anne Melroy, Ruth Vorderbergie, Heidi Hawkins Lockwood, Annie Morton Linsky, Kathy Stone Coffin, Heather Elizabeth Wall, Julia Marie Collins, Anne Dickinson Mouth, Fia Magdalena Dahl, Catherine Puget, Jean Kilborn, Ellen Levine, Charlene Lee, Serenity Hughes, Tamara London, Sun Galley, Nikita Salati, Robin Chase, Sue Wagner, Catlin Powers, Renee Hong, Caitlin Campbell, Dominic Chaplin, Chandler Cummings, Jocelyn Wong, Class of 1969, 1982, 1964, 1966, 2016, 67, 2018, 1964, 2016, 2012, 1959. This is where we learn our strength. Where you define your place in the world. Where a lot of girls discover how important the power of women can be. I would not be who I am if I hadn't gone to Wellesley. I saw myself becoming the woman I had always dreamt of being where you can transform yourself, and that can lead to transforming the world. This is the place. This is the place. This is the place.